Hello, it is me again. It's me again. Hi, I hope you're doing okay today. So this is actually my second month. It's September 1st and it's my second month for doing this whole self-employment type of thing. So as you know, I'm a call center girly. I've been doing call center work since 2018. And since the job market right now is trash, I've just kind of just gone off the deep end and decided to work with companies and platforms such as LiveOps and Arise and... Mm, there's one called shift off I just joined and there's a few there's a lot of them out there long story short is the wages I would get from working as an employee just wasn't wasn't cutting it for what I was how much I was working so I basically a month on and I'm just here to say it's not all sunshine and rainbows it is not all sunshine and rainbows especially when you are going from a ready or a trouble one of the biggest things with the platform is it just doesn't have any jobs. You're already behind it, so it's already going to be a partner. But anything I am holding, all that I am holding, I just got like, I would say I just got my paycheck. Often <laughs> on the first today, but in reality, I did it. I spent the entire day to catch up with August rent. I did not have August rent for the longest time. This is my only personal gripe with LiveOps as a platform is semi-monthly pay is rough. But anyway, that's just to say that I'm so far, I do like the freedom that it does allow me to have. Although I will say at this current point, since I only have one client that I'm working for one campaign, I don't actually have that much freedom to work the way I would like to work. Typically, you would ideally be able to set your own schedule, but when you need the money and the campaign that you have doesn't have like a lot of availability, I found that over the last few weeks, I've basically been on call Monday through Friday from eight o'clock in the morning until eight o'clock in the um in the evening, and that's all because there was not a lot of hours for me to grab on my own. Now I was able to pick up shifts from other people, but it's still a struggle, you know. So I'm not saying this to say, oh, I'm glorifying it. And I'm not saying that I will never go back to being an employee for another company. But right now, at least right now, my needs are I need money above all other things. PTO, benefits such as healthcare, all of those things are nice. Do not get me wrong. They are nice. But health insurance is not going to pay my rent. You have to earn PTO. So technically speaking pto is not going to pay my internet bill which when you don't have when you don't have a car your options for employment is limited i do work remote for call center companies partially because you know it's it's nice to just be able to roll out of bed and just go to work however it's also economically ne necessary for me because i can't afford to have my own place or have a place to live and have a car while earning thirty thousand dollars a year before taxes like that's not feasible but that's all i have to talk about today i've been crocheting i'm hoping i can earn some extra money because i'd love to set up at the um, at my local farmer's market later on this month maybe third week or so um i have a friend who's offering me to uh, offering to at least like um hitch a ride to help me set up myself which will save on an uber and a lyft because who it's that's what you've seen from some of my previous market days that it can be a lot of money for me to set up at the market if I'm taking an Uber and a Lyft to and from the market. So that's all I have to say today. I want to try to be a bit more frequent with my YouTube, at least for talking, but I'm going to keep it 100%. I'm not the type of person that's going to make a video if I don't have anything to say. And a lot of the times, I just don't have anything to say. So <laughs> I would love to hear your um, perspective. Um, how is job searching for you? Are you somebody who's trying to just make make some make something out of nothing you know it's gonna be okay i'm trying to keep my head on and look things through and stuff i'm not looking for like anything i hand out or anything